Hello everybody. Today we are here to do an unboxing video for more brake rotors. Yes, this is the third unboxing video that I've done for brake rotors. Um, this one is for a car that we've done one for before actually. Um, the car that I had the slotted and cross drilled rotors put on over four years ago now um, my 2009 Volvo S60 has 181,000 miles on it and I put a ton of miles on it with the Max Brakes slotted cross-drilled rotors that I ended up getting for it. They have been absolutely magnificent and if you follow my yearly um, updates on them you'll notice that the four year remark the pads were getting a little thin. Now I could have probably gone another year on these pads. Um, they weren't that thin um, you know, six, eight, nine months at minimum, and then the rotors were in perfect condition. They weren't scored or anything. I could have just put new pads on them and been done. The rotors were such good shape. They didn't need really anything done to them, just a new set of pads. So why am I replacing? Um, well, I'm passing this car along to my daughter. She's starting to drive it a lot more, and I'm going back to OE-style rotors, non-slotted, non-cross-drilled which do actually give you, for day-to-day -day driving, a little bit more stopping power. Because when you add the slots and the cross drills, you're removing a surface area from the rotor. So you don't, when your pad bites down, it's not biting into as much material because some of it has been removed for those slots and those uh, cross drill sections. So this will bring back a little bit more stopping power for normal day-to-day -day use. It's not a track car, so I don't need the additional cooling and things that the uh, slots and things would provide. Um, in the process, I'm going to a Geomet rotor, which we'll get to that in just a minute, what that is and why it's important. But the other reason I am doing this now instead of waiting until later is because Max Brakes, you guys are evil. Um, in a good way though, thankfully, I have, um, you have a clock that's, yeah, I know, <laughs> stupid reason for upgrading brake pads now, but if you, if you like cars like I do, it's not that crazy. Um, this clock is a brake rotor with your caliper and pads on one side of it and your clock face on it, and it's a really cool clock. And they had a thing going where if you order a set of these Geomet rotors between such and such dates, like two or three week window, you get a free clock if you buy the full kit. As soon as I saw that, I went online, looked up my uh, kit for my car, clicked order. So uh, I wanted the clock. Um, you know, the rotors are, are good too. But I did mention I would get back to this Geomet thing. What the heck is Geomet? You hear that a lot lately. Um, Geomet is a coating for a rotor. If you look at the uh, video for my 2015 Volvo, I have a black coated rotor, which I think is an anodized surface um, that prevents corrosion. It protects the rotor from corrosion. And um, I live in southwest Michigan where we put road salt on uh, the roads during the winter to prevent ice from uh, as much as possible from building up on the road surface. And that is a very corrosive um, thing to do. Uh, and it leaves your brake rotors, it can cause pitting over time, uh, it'll cause them to rust and corrode and things like that. Uh, and anybody that lives in this area, you can tell because you go through brakes a little bit more often and when you do have to replace them, the rotors are damaged more and have more corrosion than typically, uh, like if you lived in the south or the west or something like that. Geomet is a different kind of coating. It is a chemical, a wet chemical coating that is applied at the end of the line in your manufacturing process, basically, before they're boxed up. The way it works is there's... Um, like aluminum and zinc particles in this coating that act kind of like that sacrificial rod inside your um, water heater. That rod is there so that um, 
the chemicals and stuff in your water corrode that instead of your pipes and your water heater. Um, it sacrifices itself to that process. Well, the coating on the Geomet rotors does something very similar. At first, it acts as a physical barrier. You've got something coating the rotor so your salt and contaminants can't get to the rotor to cause them to rust or corrode. When you do have, especially the wet portion, starting to get to the rotor, um, then you have that oxidizing effect where instead of attacking the steel of the rotor back behind the coating, it um, starts creating ionic bonds with the aluminum and the zinc in this uh, coating and it forms an oxide layer, layer over the um, rotor so that it protects the rotor. It attacks the coating versus the rotor. Once it's oxidized and this layer has deposited itself on the rotor, then that acts as a physical barrier also. So over the lifespan of this material, of this coating, it'll undergo a process change but still offer protection for areas like Southwest Michigan where I live so that um, my rotors are still going to look good and not be so deteriorated um, so far down the line. But let's get to the unboxing. Let me go get a knife. I'll get right back and uh, we'll unbox these suckers. I'm back with a knife. Uh, that didn't work. There we go. It's hard to do that with this knife. It's so light. This is a nice little knife. It was given to me be my given to me by my friend Cindy, and it ticks off all the good boxes to tick off. It is ultra light, ultra durable, ultra sharp, and it makes it ultra cool. Uh, see if you look at it closely. It's got like an iridescent look there, and super lightweight. So let's use it to open up some boxes here and see what we've got. Look, there's a box inside a box. Just what I always wanted. Ugh, I'm gonna set one of these boxes off to the side. Take this one out. Throw that one off to the side. Get you down here so you can see a little bit better. We'll open another box. What do you think is going to be in here? I'm betting it's a brake rotor. Don't you? Ooh, it's a brake rotor. You notice something a bit different about these already before we even get them too much further. Um, your normal brake rotors have a very shiny silver look. These do not. These have almost a gray look to them. They're, they're really cool. They don't have that shiny metallic. They've got a muted look to them. That's that Geomet coating. Let's see if I can, I think this is a shrink wrap bag. Oh, that's, that's cool. That feels really sweet. When you first use the brakes, the parts right here, it will wear that off within just a few hit uh, applications of your brakes. So that will go away. Um, and then you'll just be left with a clean surface. And I can see a couple of spots in here. That's probably where it was hanging on the hooks when this coating was applied because I do believe it is a spray on coating. And I can always already feel on this one of the advantages of getting this. Normally when you get brake rotors, they are coated with a light coat of oil when you get them so that they don't rust in the process of shipping them to you um, and look like crap when you get them basically. This, since it is already a coated surface, doesn't need the oil. So if you feel this, there's none of that oily coating that you would normally feel on here. So that's pretty cool, I like that. So. Let's see if I can kind of sort of get that box back together. Set it aside and grab one of these other boxes here. Let's 
see what's in it. I am betting there's more boxes. What do you think? And I would be right. There's more boxes. And again, I'm just going to grab one of these. These are lighter, so I already know the other ones had fins. So those were the front, which on that car are, I believe, 186 millimeter front. So these would be the rear solid rotors that are, I think they are 188 millimeter. And yes, these are the solid rear. And they look and feel exactly the same as the other ones. Very nice. I love the way this looks. That's going to be a nice look when I get it mounted. So, set that off to the side and let's get this one. I'm excited about this one, I tell you. Probably going to have some brake pads in here too, I am guessing, because I did order a kit. Like I said, I do need pads. Oops. Put you guys back up here. Fell off the tripod. Hope you're not hurt. Shake it off, you'll be alright. Open that up. Look, paper. And yes, there are pads. And these are the new carbon ceramics. The ones that I've got on the car right now are a different style of pad. They are not the carbon uh, carbon ceramic. They are uh, like a full ceramic type pad. These are carbon ceramic. I love these because they are, they're not low dust. They're pretty much no dust. I hate a brake pad that creates brake dust and gets it all over your wheels. Um, is if you don't clean it off constantly, then it can actually damage your wheel, especially if you have painted wheels. Um, the dust can actually eat its way into the paint and I don't like that. Um, we've seen these pads before from the videos of the 2015. I'll get one of these out so you can take a peek anyways. And they really shrink wrap them in there good. Nice meaty pads. Look at that. It looks like a T-bone stick. It's so thick, doesn't it? Um, and these, let me get this coating off here. I like the, the backs of these. See the back? This back, if you can tell, see how it's um, not shiny or anything? This is a special back on it that can actually um, be removed. See, I can, I can just pop the back off. But this serves as a uh, anti-squeal backing. It's a soft, fuzzy feeling back to it. I don't know what it's made out of, but this helps prevent those vibrations that normally cause squeaks. Of course, I still apply a little bit on these tabs right here that slide in and out of your retainers, um, just you know for the safety of adding it there, just a small amount of lube. Um, but these are awesome pads. They feel so good when I put them on the 2015. Uh, these are the front pads because they have the portion that uh, clips into the caliper. I'm pretty sure these are the front. Can't remember if the rear has that on this car or not. I guess, you know what, let's open the box up and find out. Yeah, they do, it's just smaller clips. So, that does leave us with another box in the box. So we got all the boxes out of the boxes. Let's find out what's in this box, but I don't know what horloge is. I think that's French for clock. Because this is sold in Canada. This is the Canadian, the uh, French side. So that be would not be horloge, it'd be orlo horloge. Something like that. I took French in high school and it's been a long time since high school as you can tell. I didn't need quite so many comments on that. Um, probably did, but... Are you ready? Are you ready? There... <laughs> we'll just... There we go, the big reveal. So, I have my Max Brakes 
clock and my cover that just fell out of it. There's little tabs I see that this pops into, so you know during the shipping it looks like it probably just got bounced around. That's a cool little clock. It's nothing super fancy. Just has a little simple thing to ha hang it with here, and I can see there's a spot to put one um, battery in it. I wish it was like my um, clock for my, I've got one of those bird clocks that makes bird sound. This would be cool, like if on the hour it made a screeching sound or something. Pretty cool, huh? So I've got this free for ordering the Geomet um, upgrade kit. I'm very excited to it. I am going to go hang this up. Um, my daughter, like I said, my daughter's going to be using this car, so she's gone with it right now. She has work today, and, um, so I can't put these in right now, but we'll get to it this weekend, and I'll uh, show you guys some videos of what it looks like, uh, getting those put on the car. In the meantime, I'm going to put my cover back on this and go find a nice spot to hang this up in the living room. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.